Now let's start off with the basics and let's start by taking a look at the dock. Now at the moment I have the standard 3D dock down at the bottom of the screen and uh, they have given it a bit of an overhaul. Um, they've polished it slightly. We have a new uh, bottom plate. This uh, to me looks as though it's a, a new metalized plate but they've changed the indicator lights. Uh, now underneath icons of applications that are running we usually have these small indicator lights and they're made even smaller now by these small sort of what look like LEDs embedded into the edge of the dock. So I can see here I have Finder running, I have Safari, I also have uh, two other applications, Omni Outline Professional and ScreenFlow doing the screen capture. And as you can see, we have these small LED dots at the bottom of the dock. The other controls on the dock are pretty standard. So we can go to the separator bar, control or right click, we can turn hiding on, we can turn magnification on, get the nice big icons, etc. So that is all pretty standard. Now, they have made a subtle change to removing icons from the dock. Um, you could previously just drag an icon off and it would sort of escape in a puff of smoke. But if I let go now, you'll see so that doesn't actually work anymore. I think what they've done is they've made it slightly more difficult to do so you don't do it by accident. If you just drag it a bit further away, you'll see as you drag it further away from the dock, we can then let go and it will disappear in a puff of smoke. So uh, if you find that that's not working, you just have to drag it a bit further away from the dock than normal. But uh, let's leave that there for now. Another change is the inclusion of some additional progress indicators in the dock, uh, one of which is via the App Store, and the other one is just when you're copying files around locally. Uh, let's have a look at the App Store one first. If I go to the App Store, uh, another interesting thing actually is they now appear to allow you to download uh, Mountain Lion again, whereas they didn't do that with Lion. Once you downloaded it, it sort of disappeared and you had to do some hacks to get it, but you can download it again. So if I go ahead and say download, it's already installed, but that's fine. We'll just say download. So if we continue, zoom. Okay, we can now see the progress bar. If I hover over, you can actually now get an indicator. You'll see Launchpad downloading and how far it's got. So, and we can also see underneath the icon a progress bar. Uh, let me cancel that. So I'll go into purchases and we'll pause. I'll cancel that later. Let's close that down. Uh, the local copy allows us to, let's go to my downloads folder, change the view to a folder. I prefer it as a folder. Uh, if I now go to the finder, go to documents, right, I have a copy of my uh, mountain lion installer. The only reason I'm using this is it's quite a large file and it will take a few seconds to copy across. If I drag that across to my downloads folder and then hit the uh, alt or option key and let go, Right, that's copying it across. In the Finder, we have this new progress bar. We have our standard copy window, but also down in the dock, we have a progress bar underneath the Downloads folder as well. So some nice visual feedback on uh, how that's actually being copied across. And then that's it completed. So that's about it for the Finder. And to be honest, uh, other than the progress bars, Finder hasn't changed that much. Uh, let's just pop that down. You'll see we still have this progress indicator on here showing that the uh, download from the App Store is paused. And let's go ahead and cancel that. So if I go back across to the App Store, go to my purchases. Okay, there's the download ready to resume. Just click on the line, then hover over the button, hit the Alt or Option key. So cancel appears, click cancel, or say cancel download. Okay, and that's now cancelled. Close down the App Store. Uh, one other thing about the App Store as well, um, if we look at the menu bar, it seems pretty standard. There's a new entry which we'll cover uh, in the next section, but if I go to the Apple menu and do a software update, all software updates now will come from the App Store itself. So that includes system changes and also application updates, but as you can see, no updates available. Now let me just go back to the dock. Uh, I tend to have the dock hidden, to be honest. So I'm going to say turn hiding on. Oh, by the way, position on screen, the 2D versions of the dock, either on the left or the right-hand side, are the same. So I won't show you that. But let me just turn hiding on, and there's my dock gone. Okay, back up to the menu bar. Uh, everything looks the same except for uh, the top right-hand corner. Uh, Spotlight has been ousted and is now no longer taking the prominent position in the top right-hand corner. We have this new icon, which is actually the notification center. So for this section, let's take an in-depth look at the new notification center in Mountain Line. 